and welcome to Disney Makes Coloring. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm so excited to be here with you today. So today is going to be my February haul video and um, I don't have very much. Um, I just have a few things. Um, I actually don't even have an Amazon order. Um, I might, um, by the end of the month, I am filming this early, so if I do, I will squeeze that in and add it in at the end. But, first we're going to start with, um, I got some Happy Meal. A wonderful, a lovely subscriber surprised me with two fun new coloring books. Both of these were on my wish list. Now I am um, I didn't I don't have their permission to say their name on here so but you know who you are and you have totally made my month. Um thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um uh, uh, yeah, you have no idea. So this is Dreamlings 2, and I believe let's see if it has the illustrator. Maybe it's in the back. It does not have it in here. It's, um, I don't know who the illustrator is, but they also have an Etsy shop, um, where you can get these as a PDF. Um, it's very, very cute. There are two sets, one with black backing, and then there's one with the white backing. Does it say that? Oh, Edwina McNamee. There it is right there so I am very very excited about these these ones are mostly just like houses and you got your little mice so very cute very very cute so that is dreamlings 2 and then she also sent me um, Sherry Baldi's ABC Alpha Besties coloring book. There are 26 images and two of each. So you've got your letters and then she puts a little character with each letter. I think it is so cute. Now they are too small for alcohol markers, that's for sure. Now I was thinking I could do the letter in alcohol marker and then do these in pencil. But yeah, where's, let's find the letter M. So this would be for March. So cute. Love it. So I'm so excited. I wonder if the second one has a border on it. I don't think it does. Oh, they're different. So this one is smaller and it has a border. So the first set. And then the second set is it a little bit more blown up without the border. I love it. If you want um, full flip throughs of any of the coloring books that I show, please let me know in the comments below. But again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yes, you have made my month. It was a fun surprise. <clears throat> the next few is um, an Etsy order. I ordered from a shop called Chill and Sarah. Um, she sells a lot of Korean and Japanese coloring books. Um, so I wanted a specific one, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, but I didn't want to pay that much shipping for one book. So I got enough books to make the shipping, uh, feel like it was okay. So the first one I got, which... I was not going to get, but I decided to get it anyway. Let me zoom you in just a hair. This one is the Season Wreaths of Plants and Friends. And the reason I wasn't going to get it is if you are new and have not watched my channel, I am not a huge fan of coloring flowers, especially repetitive flowers. And this is all flowers. But I also like to complete my collection and it is Yururi the Mouse and the same illustrator. It is um, Makiko Inatome is the same one that made the Yururi coloring book. So, you know, and the squirrel one. So, of course, I, I had to get it. You know, I just had to. 
So it's just a bunch of different kind of seasonal wreaths and the book is split up into seasons. So that was summer. I believe this is spring. Look at the bunny rabbits. It is two-sided. I'm sorry. I guess I'm too far in. In and out. Hopefully nobody gets uh, motion sick. But so cute. Um, but you can also get this one. I know for sure you can get this one on Amazon Japan. Now this is the book is the reason I got it. I've been wanting this book now for a really uh, long time. Um, and I have put it off. I have the first one and I love it. So this is the second one. Now I was shocked. Let me show you the first one. Sorry about the noisy chair. This is the first one. <clears throat> and the first one is called Draw a Lovely You. And then this is the second one. And as you can see, the size difference. So I was shocked. I thought it was going to be the same. And then in the first book, you have it to where you have their picture on one side and then um, you could color it on the other side. Well, this book, which I was expecting to be like that, is not like that. But the title of this book is Draw You In My Mind. And the illustrator from Google Translate is Ko Hee Jin. It's Korean coloring book. And, um, but it does not have the picture on the other side. And I noticed that it is like the same, they're dolls, by the way, just in different poses. But look at this is Beauty and the Beast. Is that not so cute? You've got Mrs. Potts and Chip and Lumiere and Cogsworth. And I'm guessing she's Belle and he's the Beast. So cute. I'm not sure what this one is supposed to be. She's got a horse. Um, here is Beauty and the Beast, but see, it's the same. They don't have faces. And then you, those ones have faces, but it's the same of the dolls. So yeah, see, same face, different hairstyle. I think that's supposed to be like Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> Here is Alice in Wonderland. So, so cute. See, it's the same dolls, and then you've got, they're in the water, or looking at the water, and then they're in flowers, same ones. And this is the same one. That's the cover page. It's Edward Scissorhands. It's a hand. I'm not sure what that's about. Here's Wizard of Oz. This is really why I wanted it. And then this one could be Easter, the bunny rabbits. I think this is um, Anne of Green Gables. You've got Anne and Diane. And then you do have some of the pictures in the front, but not all of them. Oh, it's a Christmas one. Looks like Pippi Longstocking. Let me know if you know in the comments below if you remember Pippi Longstocking. I could see you the song. And then here are the dolls that it is based on. But yeah, so this one is Draw You In My Mind. Um, I also joined the bandwagon and I got the new April book. This is a new release. This is the um, coloring book of the Four Seasons by April. And so it's just like her other books. You've got the picture on one side and then you, you could color it on the other. 
of very, very cute. So there's probably some spring ones in here. It looks like she's growing up in the book, the little girl. She's getting bigger, older. Just love it, so fun. Love bubbles. Yeah, but again, if you want full flip throughs of any of these, let me know. And then I found, um, I was watching, I cannot remember whose channel it was. Um, and they have these books, um, told me, they said that they remind them of Eerie. And I agree somewhat. The people are a little bit different, but yes. So I got two of them. So this one is called My Dream Shop. And the illustrator is right here. Chaiki Ida. C-H-I-A-K-I-I-D-A. And I believe they are Korean coloring books. I do not. <clears throat> they might be Japanese. I don't know. Um, but really, really cute books. Same kind of paper as Eerie. Maybe a little bit better. But yeah, this one's just a bunch of different stores. We got the clock store shoe store, clothing, bakery, or pastries and yeah, bread. Oh, we got a library or a bookstore, which you know me, I love that. So that one is the f one of um, and I got both of them. I don't believe there's more than one I mean two I'm not sure this one is my dream room same illustrator and um, it has a big fold out of the house and then I believe there is um like kind of like paper dolls you cut it out and you can put it on the house um, but yeah here we've got a scientist she's doing her stargazing Just very, very, very cute. I like this one. There's the Christmas one. Here, this is paper doll like you dress her. You youngins probably don't even know what paper dolls are. Yes. <laughs> they were a big thing when I was a little girl. So, um, so yeah, so that is it that I got on Etsy, um, from the shop Chill and Sarah. Uh, the next set I'm going to show you are some, I made a lyrical order and yeah. So, um, the first one I have for you is the, I think it's mermaids around the world. I'm not positive. I did not translate these by Diane DeFore. Uh, very fun. They're, um, they're, uh, he's bowling and she's bowling with a fish. I like her sense of humor in her drawings. Very, very fun. So that is um, Sirens Demand. Um, the rest of these, uh, except for one, I believe I have full flip throughs up. This one is Superpowers by Hatchet Hero. This is a new one that came out in January. If you want to see a full flip through, there is one on my channel. Very fun. One of the books. Well, I'll tell you when I get there. So that is Superpowers. I got 100% um, Stitch. 
and it is a full book of stitch and it's got color by numbers it has mandalas it has portraits I think it's all of their Hatchet Hero Art Therapy pages of Stitch. Oh, stained glass. And in one book. And I had someone comment that they should do this for every Disney movie. Um, I saw one coming out of another character. So I think they might be doing this the characters, individual characters. I have Best of Babies. We'll do a quick few pages back here. Um, I have a full flip. It's the normal. But this is Best of Babies. Uh, color by number. That one came out in January. Now, I found this. Um, I've been talking about it. Um, this is one of the grand blocks. This is the first portrait. I have portraits, two already. And um, this came back in stock on Lyrica so I grabbed it but I am disappointed I will tell you that right now it is the exact same pages that are in oh, I'm gonna find it of course you know now I can't find it it's over here oh it's not I don't know what I did with it. Oh no. I found it. <laughs> Sorry. But it is the exact same pages that are in this book. Different covers. But it has, because I was flipping through this and I go, I know I've seen those pages. Um, but yes, it's just bigger versions of these pages are in this Disney portraits. Um, so, I mean, every single one. So, like this one, for example, Baloo. See, and I've already colored it. So I just have a bigger version. So yeah. Oh well, that's the cover of the little one. See, we saw that one and the other one, and that one, and that one, and that one. Yeah, that's okay. So now I have a big version to color or a small one, but I've had that one for a while and it's different kind of paper. Um, the portrait, the small mini blocks have thinner paper than the, <clears throat> the grand blocks. But yeah, so that is what I have um, for you. If I have been to get more before the end of the month, before this video goes up, I will um, add it in right here. Okay, so I got another order in and I wanted to share it with you in my haul. This is my Amazon haul. Um, I made a cart and they didn't purchase my cart. A lot of new books came out this month. So I'm gonna show you these really quick. <clears throat> Move this off to the side. The first one, of course, I got is Matchstick Mouse by uh, The Big Adventure Coloring Book by Morgan O'Brien. This is his brand new release. You can also get it as a PDF on his Ko-Fi, which I might do just to have it because this is like one of the cutest books. And I love that Wilbur is in almost every page. I, yeah, if you're new and you didn't know Wilbur, um, I named the worm. His name is Wilbur. I love the sloth. This is so, so cute. Very, very, very cute. So that is Matchstick Mouse. Uh, the next one I have is the adorable, amazingly adorable character collection. 
Grayscale Coloring Book 9 by Daria Capgersoy. I believe this is her newest one. <clears throat> but I don't know if it is a collaboration one of like all of her different books. I'm not positive. Um, I just know that there is a Facebook group out there and for some reason it is slipping my mind and they are doing um, this full book. Color along. I was hoping to get it before Valentine's Day because there were some really cute ones in here. Um, but to me this one, well, except for the pumpkin. It's kind of St. Patrick's Day like with the hat. This one could be very springy. Um, yeah, this, it doesn't, I don't know. Anyway, so this is Amazingly Adorable Character Collection by Daria Kekersoy. Uh, the next one I got is Cute and Crazy Crazy Village, The Penguin Family. Um, we are doing Fox Family. These are by Fern Brown <clears throat> as a color along with uh, Jamie from Jamie's Coloring Love. Now, it is on a better paper. Um, she recently really released all of her books. It's like the, it's kind of like a glossy paper. Like the Amazon Premium paper, kind of. I think it, I don't, I'm not really sure. But, so very cute. So that is The Penguin Family by Fern Brown. I got Hannah Lynn's newest release. This is the Whimsy Girls from the Archives. So this is a bunch of her older um, characters from some of her older books. Like, I know I have this one in a book. <clears throat> oh, Dorothy. Love it. So I think this is just like a collab of her different books. Not positive on that, but pretty sure. Beauty and the Beast. But yeah. Very fun. And of course in the beginning there's all the thumbnails. So that is Whimsy Girls from the Archives by Hannah Lynn. Alexander Franzis has two brand new releases. Um, this one is Fairy Chibis. Alexandra Franzis and um, Camelia Angel Kova are, and Morgan O'Brien. They're all auto buys for me. This is very, very cute. So that's very chibis. <clears throat> Her other newest release is Easter Mandalas. It's just a bunch of, and I like her mandalas because it's not like just a bunch of lines and patterns. It's like characters and things like that. Um, the next one I got is Angela Gonzalez's um, newest release. I was not going to get this because I really don't like her paper. But um, I saw a flip through and I am not a cat person. I'm a dog person. I mean, I like cats. I like all animals. But, I mean, these dogs. Look at this hot dog one. I mean, there's a hot dog, ketchup and mustard. It's just, <laughs> yes, so fun. So, yeah, I had to try it out. So that is Doggy Doodles by Angela Gonzalez. And then Camellia Angel Kova came out with a new book, 50 Diminutive Spring Scenes to Color. Now, the diminutive ones are not my favorites. I'll just tell you that. But this one, she actually has characters in it. So it's not just houses. Um, she did, some of her animals are in it. Um, she has one... 
She has people. She has gnomes. There was one. Look, this one would be perfect for St. Patrick's Day. And there was another one. There was one with a leprechaun I saw. Um, you've got here they're painting Easter eggs. There's her ducks. Her, um, oh, there it is. Wouldn't that be so cute for St. Patrick's Day? I saw one, uh, like her chickens and her roosters. Her birds, there's the gnomes. Here's her, her mice. Now the, the line art, and there's another leprechaun one. That one's cute. The line art in this one is not as thick to me. So that would be a really cute Easter one. So yeah, so those of you who I know did not get this collection, um, to me this one is very different than the other two. You've got a lot more. Um, it's not just houses. It's um, got the characters and different things in it. I finally got a hold of uh, Tales from Atlantis by, um, by Hannah Carlson. I've been waiting for this one um, to come out in the United States, and it finally did. It's been in my cart for over a month, but uh, it was, you know, I wanted to get a couple books. Whoops. But yeah. I'm excited about that one. And then last but not least is Coloring with Your Octopus. I've been seeing this around by Brian Kessinger. Now, I know that um, it's been out for a while. I'm not, uh, let's see if it says. We've got a publisher's date on it. We do not. But... Um, somebody colored a picture in here and I loved it and I was like, you know, it's really cute. I thought it was this little tiny, like, postcardy flip book. This thing is huge. It's way longer than I thought it was. So, yeah, I was a little shocked. Oh, by the way, I got a new mat. So before I had a, um, it was a cutting mat and I, um put contact paper over it to make it a color. Well, um, I had two layers of contact paper on it. It was driving me crazy. And I know a lot of you get these mats, so I wanted to try it out. So I just got the, um, it's Tiffany blue. I like it. It looks a lot bluer on camera. It's more of the turquoisey, tealy color in person. Anyway, it's just hilarious. Here she is riding the octopus like a horse. And these pages are two-sided. They're carving a pumpkin together. Here they're baking. I mean, it's just so cute. Now, if you want full flip-throughs of any of these books, just let me know. So yeah, so now I am going to go back to the um, original video and I will see you in just a second. Thank you for watching. If you're new made it through, thank you so very much. Let me know if you have any of these books. I would love to know. And if you are new and haven't already, I'd love to have you subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified when I post new videos. Uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and comment down below. And um, yeah, I love making these videos, talking to all of you, and I look forward to talking to you all real soon. Bye.